Hey, how's your day going today? And here is your virtual tour of 15724 Blue Pearl. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the neighborhood. This is Forest Lake. And this property ends at the end of a cul-de-sac. Has a little open space right there. If you can see there's views. Oh, the snow looks great today. All right, I'm gonna take you on in. This is a two car standard garage. Really new home, beautiful brick, or I should say sack stone. And let me go on in. The owner is gonna be here and she's joining me on the tour today. And the owner is named Amanda. And is this not a gorgeous property? So when Amanda got to meet with Classic and do a lot of her um, picks, she wanted a good contrast. And so we're going to go into the kitchen and Amina is going to tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, so this is the kitchen. Kind of did some upgrades on the cabinetry, um, getting kind of the distressed look at the silver on, on the interior of the doors there. Um, my favorite, of course, was the backsplash. I went with the Carrera Marble backsplash and this really cool pattern. At least I hope you appreciate it as much as I do. Um, good single touch faucet, upgraded appliance package. And she does have a really nice fridge here. There's also a lot of really good space in the pantry. Um, that's one of those areas that there's plenty. As you can see, I even have tucked away my appliances so they don't have to be out on the counters and things. Oh, plenty yeah. of room for all of your basics plus. Oh, that's great, Amanda. Yeah. All right, take us into the dining room, into the great room area. Yeah, so just one big open great room area, first with the dining table. I chose a round table. You could easily get a rectangular table in here. I um, love the round. Yeah. You're such so, a good decorator. I think the round is fun. But then takes you on over into the living space. Um, I ended up doing the stone on the fireplace myself. Um, this was an upgrade outside of what Classic offered and so decided that that went better with the look that I was going for. But what? a good stacked oh, stone. You did a great job. Let's go through the rest of the house before we show them one of the best selling features yeah. of this home. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go now into the bedroom area and the hall full bath. Yeah, so for me, the first thing I did is I changed out, you can see the French doors going into this bedroom um, because I use it as, you can see, as a home office. Um, it is large enough to hold a queen size bed and it's a regular size bedroom, but for me, it has served really well as a really nice office space and the French doors give you that added light and kind of view into the great room even when I'm working and tucked away. But they could use this as a bedroom if they wanted to, a nursery, a yeah. anything, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it holds a queen size bed. I've seen other floor plans kind of have it set up that way. No, so that's awesome. It's and a full bedroom. And so this is the hall full bath that also your guests would use if they were here um, hanging out with you, but you did yeah. a really great job in here also. Yeah, upgraded countertops in these as well. So the quartz with the undermount, as you can tell. Um, continued the flooring in to this space. Yeah, you have the continu same continued flooring throughout yeah. the whole main level. Is that right? Correct. Correct. And then you chose a solid tile. Yes. This is solid gray tile. Awesome. All right. And then let's go into the master suite. And then we'll give them a peek at your uh, laundry room and garage. Sure. So coming into the master... I, of course, have my bed situated on this shorter wall just because I love both waking up to this view and also at night seeing the moon and stars out the window. Yeah, and um, this is Colorado and you get to see that, right? Yeah, exactly. So I, I take full advantage. Technically, if you wanted to, um, you could put it across the, the longer wall, which I think is, you know, what it was designed for. Um, could fit a king size bed easily, the vaulted ceiling, making it feel really nice and spacious. Okay, then this is Amanda's master bath. 
And it's really nice because it is a five piece bath and she did do again, the updated uh, kitchen, updated counters. Yeah, updated counters and cabinetry are the same throughout. Also did the seamless shower. Yeah, that's um, so cool. And the same flooring. Yeah, with custom tile work that was a big upgrade that also went through the bathtub surround. Yeah, you chose a lot of modern elements, wouldn't you say, Amanda? Yeah, I definitely wanted um, kind of neutral, but definitely a modern look, kind of vertical stacked instead of the traditional horizontal. Um, yeah, I love this. And then here's your private water closet, which I know a lot of people like. Okay. Well, we are gonna go back and as you can see it is vaulted ceilings lighted ceiling fan and we'll go back and we'll take a peek at the laundry room here oh wait we probably want to see the closet sure. all right i'm gonna go ahead and open it and let's see yeah so, so both sides both sides front and back and then i have the shelving um all ceiling all the way up to the top and then get in vaulted in here too so you could even add more shelving if yes, needed there's plenty of room well, yeah i'm sure that's yeah. awesome okay so this is going to be our laundry room and it's right off the garage off the um master it's on the main level yeah so good laundry room space um nice large scale washer and dryer fit in shelving mirror to the side um yeah no this is a great space do my ironing in there and things as well. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's great that you can utilize all that. I got Amanda's feet on that one. <laughs> okay, so when you come in from the garage, there is a closet for all your coats and boots and whatever else you need to store. And Amanda, this is her two-car standard garage. Yeah, so it has the additional four-foot extension so you get a little extra space. Um, there's also extra outlets in here if you needed to put in a 220 volt anything. Oh, that's nice. Um, so if you are a shop type of person, extra crafts and things. Yeah, I know when you built this house, when you had Classic built this house, you thought of everything. This That's what makes your home just so unique. It's just Can so we beautiful. Get this side closet too as well? Oh yeah, we should probably in. take this closet. This is right off the entry. And so there's really two coat closets, one off the garage and one off the entry. All right, we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna right there, pause for a minute. Look how beautiful that is. All right, we're gonna take you guys downstairs yeah, to the nice walkout open, lower level. Um, upgrade to the stairwell as well with the wrought iron so that you can actually see through. Carpets in great shape. Yeah, upgraded carpets um, with upgraded padding. So thickest padding that you can have, good carpets. Uh, so nice and comfy for you to roll around on if you want. So when you first come down, there's a door here on the right. Is this your storage room? This is the mechanical room, yeah. Okay. All right, I know everybody likes to see these things because they're like, what kind of hot water heater? Yeah, so cream hot water of course the irrigation is hooked up and then you have a door on that side to the furnace room also yes yeah, yeah so that's the easy access um the storage down here i have a security system installed um so that and that's something they would just have to call their um like the company and yeah, have, just it activated. To have it monitored sure yeah awesome all right so we are gonna continue our tour. Yeah, in this open space, I will just say it is um, roughed in for a wet bar. So I right. chose not to do that, but all of the plumbing and everything is already um, embedded. And approximately where is that in this wall, Amanda? So that is right at the edge of, like about a foot away from the side of um, the window here. Okay, great. So if you wanna add it a wet bar, you could do that. Yeah. All right, and she can tell there's a lot of living space here in this family room. Yeah, and again, the higher ceilings, so we took the ceilings up. Um, yeah, that was an upgrade, correct? Right. Yeah, yeah, additional foot. Um, the additional lighting in here, the, there's extra can lighting, but some of them are dimmable, 
um, so that if you want this to be more of a theater space, you can do that as well. And kind of oh, that's great. Dim. You can dim them. And then we were talking earlier, I remember that there is a, somewhere you can put in a window on this wall. Is that correct? Yes. So right where you have the phone focus now for the video um, is studded in for a window because of classics preferences they wouldn't give me another window on this back wall um, but it is ready and primed for a window which i think would be beautiful to do over oh yeah, yeah. To, to capture that lake front view would be amazing yeah. all right so we're going to go really quickly into these back two bedrooms and this one has the view of the lake also yeah and so that was an added window um, that was an upgrade yeah here. because just this window here was in place yes but you paid extra to have this added window and it's great because if somebody's sleeping in this bed they can see right. the lake it's, yeah, you, it's you, absolutely from gorgeous the bed, you certainly have a, a wonderful view out the lake and, and towards the mountains so i don't know if you can see that or not through here but i know people are going to be fighting over this bedroom <laughs> Okay, and then this bathroom serves these two um, bedrooms and also the living space for in the family room. Yeah, and same upgraded cabinetry and countertop mm -hmm. with the undermount. And so everything on the lower level is done to the same level of finish as upstairs. Yeah, you didn't you didn't cheap out on anything. That's for sure. You did a really great job. And then here is a linen closet here which is always important. Main is going to be wiping down elements when I leave because I've not touched too much. I'm trying to be very careful with my uh, safety distance with her. And then this room is really quite large. Yes. So this one, you don't get the added view, but it is quite a bit larger. Um, easy space, even over here to the side, if you wanted to add a chair and an extra little reading seat. This closet is oh it's massive expansive yeah wow this now view or the massive closet that's right. the question of the day right that's who whoever gets down here gets to debate that's right well which is more important <laughs> you know they're both positives that's yeah. for darn sure all right so we're going to take you back upstairs to show you one of the best selling features of this home i think you've already had kind of a little peek of it but I know that Amanda really enjoys spending time out here. Yeah, so this is my view that will never go away. Um, <laughs> so it is a beautiful space, of course, to enjoy any time of day. I certainly do. Look at that. Wow. Sort of have, have the lake here. No one on the other side of you. A good covered deck area that has cam lights. It also has um, gas. Oh, it's pretty plumb for gas for fireplace. Or um, your, yeah, your grill. Mm -hmm. All right, so here you go. I'm going to come to the edge so I can kind of pan this for you. And now you're a lot over some of the other lots that back to the lake has unique special feature. Yeah, so one of the big features is, is that it is positioned in a way kind of to look over this uninterrupted view. Um, and that is ranch land that will not be developed on that goes back over into the Air Force land. Um, so it really is special. Wow, Amanda, well, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful home with us. So if you're looking for a four bedroom, three bath, two car garage home in Forest Lake, this home might just be your next home.